The study began more than 50 years ago. Put wolves and moose on a relatively isolated island and see how they interact. For a while, both populations did well as researchers studied the relationship between predators and their prey. But as the wolf population dwindled, genetic inbreeding began to take its toll. For many, many years that the wolves have been there, they've mitigated those inbreeding problems by wolves occasionally crossing an ice bridge from the mainland to the island. And when they cross that ice bridge, uh, well, those wolves bring with them their genes and they reproduce with the native wolves on Isle Royale. And that mitigates the inbreeding problems. There have been fewer ice bridges in recent decades, so new genes have not been introduced. Even with the cold winters of the last couple of years, wolves that have crossed the ice to visit the island have not stayed. There are now only three wolves on Isle Royal with more than 1,200 moose. The National Park Service will need to make a decision soon on what to do with the study, but Vucidich sees three options. One is to conduct genetic rescue by introducing new wolves into the mix or introduce new wolves only if the current population becomes extinct. The third choice is to do nothing. But with a runaway moose population on an isolated island, that might not be feasible. Ecosystem health depends vitally on the presence of top predators wherever there are large ungulates. And we know that in so many places where large ungulates have been left to their own devices without predators, they, they ruin the forest. They, they cause great harm to the forest, harm that's not easily undone. Until such a decision is made, the study will continue as long as at least one wolf is alive on Isle Royale. For ABC 10 CW5 News Now, I'm Keweenaw Bureau reporter Rick Allen.